Okay, we're running real late, so I want to move on now to our tech corner. A good one for you. We love doing this when we have a guest come into the studio and join us and, and show off their, their latest product. Uh, our guest here today is Eric Kloss of 8Tree, and eight, uh, Dirk and Eric are going to show you a few new products from 8Tree, so take it away, guys. Thanks, Mike. Yep, well, as Mike said, we've got Eric Kloss from 8Tree. Uh, he is the Chief Technology Officer and the Co-Founder for 8Tree. Eric, thanks for joining us. Hi, Dirk. And uh, what are we looking at today? First of all, thanks for having us in Tech Corner sure. this, uh, today. Uh, we are really glad to present it. No problem. So uh, Atree is a German-American startup company that uh, makes uh, surface inspection systems that are special in several ways. And uh, I'd like to show you today the fast check system first. Okay. Um, it's special in a way that it's incredibly fast, easy to use, and it's application specific. And the first application that we picked was actually triggered by the airline uh, aircraft industry. Okay. And it's about checking fastness. Probably everybody of you have seen fastness when you enter an uh, airplane. Actually, let me try something, uh, if we can do that. So we can, uh, if we got the gauge, got the gauge cam here. Okay. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Okay. So if we see uh, over here, so these are these are the fasteners that you would you would find when you when you walk up to uh, when you walk up to uh, an airplane. You're boarding an airplane. You see there's like a jillion of these fasteners yeah. on, holding the skin on the plane, essentially. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Hundred thousands of them on the fuselage on the wing, okay. and they have to be installed flush, really. So they have should not be sticking out, and they should not be too deep. Okay. For, for two reasons. So if they are out, it's an aerodynamic problem. So fuel consumption goes up really up, and that's a big problem today. And the other problem is if they are too deep, it's, um, it's uh, not stable. It's a structural problem then. Okay. So they have to check all these fasteners. And it's a, it's a problem because right now they're only using manual gauges, and it takes forever to check them. So what they do, they manually check by using their hands. So they kind of run, run their hand over the skin and, and get a feel. Okay. E exactly. Actually, you're very sensitive for that. So yeah. it, it works fine, but it's, of course, not very objective. Right. So only when they find a problem, then they use that dial gauge and, and check the fastener depth or height. And, and what, what, what kind of, what, what kind of uh, uh, precision are we talking about with, with these mountings? Uh, accuracy uh, uh, is, is actually very tight. The, the tolerances are tight. So it's about 2,000 for sticking out, and it's about 7,000 for deep fastness. So what, 50 microns? 50 micron yes, height, okay. two tenths of a millimeter, roundabout. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, the requirement if you want to check those. And we came up with an idea uh, to, to use an optical scanner. Now this is a, this is a, a what, a, a structured light scanner, white light scanner? Exactly, that's okay. a structured light scanner. There's nothing really special about that except that it's very fast. Okay. And um, let me really quick do that measurement. And, uh, okay, so it did, a, it did a quick scan of the, uh, uh, of the skin. And, we, and, and what are we looking at here now on the, uh, on the skin itself? Um, so the system finds automatically the fastness, and then it measures the depths of them. Okay. Um, so, what, so what it did is it, is it scanned the skin, yep. and then it projected then back over the top of the actual fasteners how much intolerance they were in, or if, if they were in or out of tolerance, right? It, actually, that's the novelty of that system, that it uses like the surface of that part as a screen to project the results on. And the idea is really to have a color code, so the operator would only look at the color, and he would see, OK, green color means this is intolerance, and red, blue color means it's either too deep or too high. So he doesn't have to go back to a computer or anything. Basically, he takes a scan, he or she takes a scan, and immediately, if they don't see all green dots, they know there's something wrong. Exactly. Okay. So when what they usually do then, they circle those bad fasteners, and they are being drilled out, and the next size, bigger fasteners being installed. Okay. Now, I, you, I think you told me that this only kind of scans a, a, a uh, eight and a half by eleven, kind of a sheet of paper size scan. So if they were going to scan a whole fuselage, they would have to what kind of hopscotch the the, the scanner down the it, down it, the plane. It's a, uh, that's exactly what they do. Are they installing this system on a robot or on a handling system? And they uh, they even think about installing it on a uh, on the fastener installing system to check the fastener right when it's being installed. Okay. And I think you, you have a video that kind of shows this, is that right? Yeah, or a very like brief that? video we have to show uh, how that uh, is being applied on a, on a plane. This is actually an animation that we made because people don't really understand the principle of projecting the results on the part. 
So we see the scanner, it has a camera and a projector on the other side. And now you see the, the surface of an aircraft and you see these hundred thousands of fasteners. And you can imagine it's a hard work you really to inspect them all by, by hand. So you see the scanning process and pretty much in a second after that, it projects the results. In this case, they are all good, so all green dots. It's, it's battery powered, that device, and it's um, operated by a remote control. And so this is how the system would move along the surface. So it still takes some time, but it's, it's about 10 times faster than the, the other approach with using a hand gauge. And there you see red dot means it's coming out, blue is a deep fastener, and we can also check the angle, whether it's installed, crooked. Okay. Okay. So, so this was uh, this application happened to be a, a fastener uh, application. I understand you've got a couple of other applications. Yeah, when we so that was all triggered by the uh, aircraft industry because they had that problem, and when we developed that principle, we found we have uh, other applications that we could use. One is being uh, checking for dents. Of course, there are dents in in many parts. For example, also in uh, aircraft airplane parts and in automotive parts, hail damage, for example. And it works very similarly. So the surface is being entirely scanned. And then you define a certain area that you want to inspect. So you're just drawing a box around the area that you're, you're interested in. Exactly. And it just scans and gives you, uh, looks like a color contour map, uh, just of that area then. Exactly, that's okay. what it is. So it, it compares it to a reference plane. And now we see each little dent. So there's a big one that you can easily see with your naked eye. So you're moving the cursor. As you move the cursor over that dent, it's giving you uh, an indication of, of how far out it is, either, either up or down. Yeah, exactly. So red or the, the reddish colors mean it's coming out. The bluish colors are deep fastness, uh, deep dense. Right. So that's actually the second application. We call it dent check. And for the purpose of demonstrating it, we put it all in the same system. Actually, these are separate systems that can, that can have different fields of view and so on. OK. So, so basically, so what you're saying is the hardware is the same. It's really it's kind of a, a software application that, that varies? Yes. Or? Uh, yeah, pretty well, much a software. Other difference. than maybe the optics, the field of view you mentioned. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. OK. So and again, based on the same principles, we can also check uh, what we call gap and flush measurement. Okay. So on that sample, we see a gap that is increasing in size down, down to the bottom. And what you can't see so clearly, it's also a gap problem. So they are not exactly uh, a flush problem. They are not exactly flush. Right. Just, just uh, uh, what Eric's talking about is if, if you could see, if you could look end on on this, you would see that uh, these, two, uh, these two pieces of, of, of poster board aren't aren't planar with each other. They're kind of skewed from each other. So the, not only is there a gap difference, but there's also a flush difference as it moves along the, uh, from top to bottom. So it did a scan, scan and now we're getting our, our gap and flush feedback. Yeah, and the idea or presentation of results is, is very similar. So we're using color codes to make it really easy to understand. So if you're looking at green colors, everything is fine. So the gap is OK in this area, in this area. And the flush measurement is also OK. But if we're going down here, we see that the flush numbers are increasing, so the circles are getting bigger yeah, and bigger. And if you can leave the gauge, if you can leave the gauge uh, gauge shot back up there, Daniel. Um, so these these arrows, those are t tell me whether my uh, I'm uh, my gap is is in spec, right? So the arrows are gap, and then the circles are are flush. So as I right, so 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 as I'm going down, I'm seeing these circles getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which means my flush is getting worse and worse and worse. Is that yeah, the, and that's okay. exactly the idea of presenting these results here. Okay. To have actually the operator doesn't have to look at the numbers really, but he just checks for the green color and then he's good to go. Okay. Now, what uh, you've been talking about mostly aerospace is that typically the the application for for all three of these uh, these technologies, or are there other? Yeah. So we are a small startup. So uh, we we started concentrating on the aerospace industry, but we are getting demand from the automotive and other industries to apply the exact same principles for for their measurements. For for example, dent measurements on cars, you can do the same thing. And we are talking also to insurance companies right now that are interested, for example, to, uh, to if you have hail damage on, on cars, uh, okay. to check, check for those. And so the uh, kind, of, kind of wrap all this up, basically what you've got is the technology is 
a, a structured white light scanner exactly. that scans a surface and then immediately projects back onto the surface um, how, it, uh, how that surface varies from uh, whatever tolerances uh, you're looking for. I'm assuming those tolerances are pre-programmed into, uh, into the box, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So there is a PC inside that system and everything is pre-programmed. We can very easily change also these, these settings by using a bug code and tell the system, okay, now the tolerances are different. Um, oh, really? So you can you could use the you could use your your cameras to scan a barcode. The barcode is going to tell it what uh, what measurement program yep. to, to bring yep. up. Okay. To make it really easy for the operator now to switch from from one tolerance set to the next one. And this box is all there is to it. Right. This I mean, is other than for programming purposes, basically once this is programmed with the test routines, you're just going to take this box, put it on a, this looks like a regular camera tripod. Yeah, so. so it can be put on anything just for that purpose, we put it on a tripod, but you could even use the system handheld and yeah, it's, if it's battery powered, it's completely self-contained. So. Okay. Well, again, this was the, the, the fast check, the gap check, and the dent check. Exactly, right? yeah. And again, this was Eric Kloss from 8Tree, uh, Chief Technology Officer and Co-Founder. Eric, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us on the show, hey. Dirk. I appreciate it. No problem. Back to you, Mike. There you go. You have it from, uh, from Eric Kloss and Dirk, the 8Tree Tech Corner. Uh, three really good products there you saw on this week's Tech Corner. It's always nice, again, to have uh, a guest come in and join us on the studio and, and go through... Uh, Go through Tech Corner with us, Derek. That was fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. Good, good product there. I think it's, it's cool. You know, we're seeing um, we're seeing more and more interesting technologies come along that are really more operator friendly, mm -hmm. and uh, this is this is kind of one of those technologies that that falls in that. As as Eric pointed out, structured white light scanning. That technology has been out for for a long time. So the measurement aspect, uh, as Eric said, is nothing new. But the idea of taking that now and projecting the the the, the information that the user needs to act yeah. on, projecting that right back on the work surface so you don't have to go back to a yeah. computer and look at something. That's actually brilliant. That's yeah, great it's, stuff. It's, it's getting, getting better and better every day. It's yep. always exciting in this industry of ours. All right. Well, thank you again. Thank you, Eric.